Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. And hopefully everybody had a fantastic holiday season and of course a great new year. So I've been away for a little bit because I started going back to work and because I was going back to the office, I don't have as much time in the morning to really uh, make my perfect cup of coffee. So just about two weeks ago, I actually came across a very interesting product that I thought might help me with my morning coffee. And the company is called Comatier, and they make these very, very unique frozen coffee pots that are meant to make specialty coffee much more accessible for the average person. And of course, for those of us who enjoy specialty coffee, but might not have the time during our busy day to properly make one. So since I just received these, I want to try them out on camera and share my experience with you guys. All right, so before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about this company. I first came across this when I was just browsing Instagram. At first glance, I didn't really give it much thought because I thought it was just another one of those coffee pot companies that make mediocre coffee. However, upon looking into it a little bit further, I realized that these pots are a little bit different than what I thought they were. So first of all, they obtained their coffee from some of the best coffee roasters out there, including one of my personal favorite, which is Counterculture. So for example, I chose the light single origin set. And in this particular set that they sent me, uh, includes George Howell, Counterculture, uh, Bird Rock, as well as Get. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, what they set out to do is to make it convenient to get that perfectly made cup of coffee. And how they aim to achieve that is by brewing this coffee with their proprietary method. And right afterwards, they will flash freeze these in liquid nitrogen that are negative 321 degrees. And this is supposed to result in a product that is going to last in your freezer for up to 14 months, along with a coffee pot that contains no coffee grounds in them. Combined with the fact that these pots are actually made of 100% aluminum, they have designed these coffee pots to be fully curbside recyclable. And what it means is that you are getting the convenience of a typical pot machine without the potential environmental impact and a better end result. So if the taste is really as they advertised, I think these will make a fantastic coffee that you can bring to work or leave in your uh, work freezer. Or if you simply want to have a great tasting cup of coffee at home without having to buy any additional equipment. All right, so with that out of the way, I'm getting a little bit thirsty, so let's make our cup. All right, so because one of the coffee roaster that I'm most familiar with is counterculture. So today I think I'm going to start with the counterculture box. And so it's a little bit easier for me to make a comparison between this and what I normally make. The counterculture coffee that they sent me on this box is Sipacapa. And this is a Guatemala single origin bourbon variety. Let me go ahead and get these back in the freezer and I'll be right back. So in the box, Comatier did include a little tip and trick guide. And this will give any first time user a good idea on how to make uh, coffee with these pots. So the product itself is actually very simple. I have actually opened the box and seen these. So like I said, it comes in these little aluminum pots. And by the way, they did mention on their website that these can be used uh, in cake up machines, just in case if that's what you guys have at home. But I think they are simple enough to make without any machine. So they do recommend that you run these under the water for about 10 seconds to sort of get the puck loosened up a little bit. And then you add six to eight ounces of boiled water. Uh, I went ahead and boiled the water to 195 degrees. So this way it's not, you know, too hot. Of course, if you want to make a cup of iced coffee, you are simply going to melt these by either leaving them in the fridge overnight or run them under water for a little bit longer. All right, so let's try out our first cup. Okay, well, so when you first open them, you do see the coffee inside. It's just a frozen puck. And of course, you would just go ahead and recycle the pot right afterwards. The cup that I have right now is 14 ounces. So just to make everything precise, let me go ahead and measure the... All right, so that was kind of silly because I just realized my time more does not actually measure in ounce. So anyways, let's use our smaller scale. So like I said, I want to go ahead and measure this for the first time just so I can try this coffee out as per instruction. So they recommend that you add six to eight ounces of water to this. I think I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and add about seven ounces of water since these are light roast. I don't want to overly water them down, but of course you can make these based on your own personal preference. All right, perfect. And so what they do recommend is obviously also to stir them just to make sure all of the coffee does melt into the water. So right off the bat, these actually smells very good. And by looking at the color, uh, these are brewed a little bit lighter. 
These are definitely very comparable to a well-made cup of pour over and definitely miles and miles better than any sort of Nespresso or K-cup machine that I have ever tried. Uh, you do taste the origin of the coffee. The notes of the coffee still comes through and it does taste very, very fresh in the cup. But for my personal preference, I think I'm going to use six ounces of water instead of seven. Uh, at least for the single origin light roast, just to have a slightly stronger cup. But just as a first impression, I think Comatier does change my entire perception on pot coffee and can definitely make that perfect cup of coffee more accessible for more people. Now, based on the instruction, these pots can also be used to make a cup of latte. So I do want to go ahead and try that out. So just give me one moment. I'm going to steam some milk and we're going to try these in a latte. All right, so I went ahead and steamed some milk and I tried to pre-melt the coffee in the pot a little bit. Uh, it didn't fully melt. Still have a slight piece left. So I think I'm just going to run them under the water for slightly longer in the future if I want to make these as lattes. But one thing to know is that these coffee are definitely very fresh. After I pour these out into the cup, I start to steam the milk. A lot of bubble is starting to form on top of the coffee over here, which is typically a good indication that these beans are actually fresh. All right, so let me go ahead and... Oh. Yeah, the milk and the foam kind of start to separate while I talk here. Don't expect a very good pour, but let's see. Yeah, definitely a bit harder to pour with these. Okay, so because of the, the way that the coffee are made, uh, I made a mess. Yeah, so because of the way that the coffee are made, it did produce a lot of foam, at least for this particular cup. It have like this sort of thick layer of bubble and foam. So as far as making a latte pour with this, I think it's a little bit challenging, at least as a first time experience. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this clearly, but it does have a lot of sort of these big uh, bubbles. But anyways, uh, we are not here for the latte or pour. We are here to have a taste. So let's see how this tastes. All right, so as a latte, I think these are definitely very light. Comatier does sell different sets that are designed for purely espresso or purely pour-over drinkers or really a mix of both. So in my particular set that I got, it, they are all light roasting origin. So I think that is probably the reason why uh, this cup of latte tastes extremely light. But the sweetness of the coffee does still come through. It's just the overall cup is a little bit too muted in my opinion. Uh, with the milk. So therefore, I think for you guys at home that are interested in checking this out, if you are mainly trying to get these for lattes or if you prefer milk with your coffee, I think some of the other boxes might be better suited. Before you place your first order, they do ask you how you normally take your coffee, you know, either with milk, just black or as a latte. But if you still prefer the light rose box, I think this might work better as a cortado with much less milk or simply enjoy these as black coffee as Comatier recommend that you do with this particular set anyway. And of course, besides these two methods that we talked about in this episode, Comatier does say that you can make these as a iced coffee, an iced latte, just by adding these pots to six to eight ounces of either ice with water or ice with milk. And of course, they have other recipes on their website as well, such as making these as affogados or a espresso martini. Anyways, if you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link down below in the description. As a first order, they did send me a link to share with my friends and family. That will give you guys $25 off your first order. Just to clarify, this video is not sponsored by Comatier. Uh, I simply decided to purchase these products for myself and they happened to send me a link for that $25 off. And the link will only work for the first 10 people that sign up. So if you want to try it out, I do recommend that you head to the link quickly. And as far as the price is concerned, the boxes are on a subscription model. Uh, it is $64 regularly per box and each order will contain 32 pots which will make each drink about two dollars and you can choose to get a box every one week two weeks or four weeks and of course you can choose to cancel at any time i personally went with the four weeks but anyways the main point of this video is to try out this product and honestly as a first time experience i do enjoy them quite a lot i think this is a great option for those of us that are limited on time but still don't want to compromise on the taste of our coffee. And at $2 a cup, it's still cheaper than purchasing from specialty coffee shops. Of course, on the other side, I think this also opens door for a lot of people at home that aren't as quite interested in making the coffee, but still want a good tasting cup. You can simply purchase this, add water, and there you go. So I think overall, it just makes a perfectly brewed cup of coffee more accessible for a lot of people. And I think that's what sets this product apart from the rest. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and let me know in the comment section down below if you have been using this product or if you have came across 
uh, comments here before. And that is it for this episode. As always, if you guys have not subscribed already to the channel, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And of course, like the video if you liked it. As always, please take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.